Hey there everybody, it's Mark Crowley. I'm back with another video. This is part one of a two-part series, uh, a brand new concept, uh, for me anyway. It's going to be a drawing that I begin this week and finish next week. Uh, based entirely on your suggestions. Now, I've come up with the basic concept of what it's going to be. It's going to be a Halloween-themed drawing. And uh, before I get going, people uh, like to know the size that I'm working at. Uh, I'll just tell you quickly, it is 5 inches from top to bottom. That works out to around 13 centimeters. From to side to side, it's a, a little over 9.5 inches, which works out to 24.5 centimeters. And let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get into this drawing. My my concept is that I'm going to draw uh, three different uh, trick-or-treaters, little kids, uh, out to get their Halloween candy. And uh, I'm going to sort of sketch the basic uh, poses of the three different characters, but I am not going to come up with any of the details. And indeed, uh, almost anything that I draw uh, this week can be altered uh, by the time of next week's video. Uh, if uh, we decide to, collectively, <laughs> you and I, dear viewers, uh, I'm going to leave a little space up here. Uh, in fact, I might just go ahead and write the words right now. I, I, I want to turn it into a classic Halloween type of uh, illustration, so I'm going to write the words trick or treat up here at the top. And um, uh, rather than w let you be bored watching me do that, how about if I do that quickly in time lapse right now? All right, so the rest of this I should be able to do uh, all in real time this week anyway. Next week we'll probably have copious amounts of uh, time lapse, but I'm keeping things real loose this time because, uh, uh, you know, the plan is just to get the basics, uh, kind of a loose sketch in place uh, this week. Next week is when all the details and so forth will come in. So I'll begin with maybe the structure here. Um, my idea is that this is the sidewalk as the kids go out for their trick-or-treating, uh, kind of curving from the distance uh, toward uh, the viewer. And then let's go straight across here to create the um, walkway that leads up to the doorstep. Now, I'm not going to draw the actual doorstep uh, in this illustration. It'll be kind of um, left up to the imagination of the viewer, because I really want to focus on the uh, trick-or-treaters. But I will get, like, sort of the steps that lead up to the front porch over here. And let's go ahead then and start drawing these three characters. I think uh, maybe I'll begin by just sort of loosely dropping in three different uh, circles for where the heads will go. I think that might do it, something like that. We want them kind of evenly spaced. And uh, they will be similar poses, but I think that I want them to be slightly different. I don't want them to look robotically identical. Let's have this first guy with his uh, arm up like so. And uh, one of the details that we'll be deciding together, or I will be deciding based on your suggestions, are there the little bags that they carry for the candy? You know, that could be a classic jack-o'-lantern shape. It could basically be anything. Consider this a placeholder here. And in terms of the kids and what um, costumes they're wearing, again, leaving that entirely up to you guys. I'm just really putting in the basics of this week. And uh, who knows, if people enjoy this, I, I can foresee um, doing more videos that follow along with this format. This time I'm going quite cartoony. Um, but, uh, you know, the same basic concept could be applied to a, a much more detailed or realistic looking uh, drawing in the future. But I thought in keeping with the fun spirit of Halloween, at least for kids, mostly fun. I guess I could, <laughs> I could have gone creepy, dark and creepy. Never too late. Let's see what people suggest <laughs> in the uh, comments section. Um, but so, yeah, you see the sort of cartooniness of this pose. Uh, but I am indeed not going to put any details in here uh, at all, and it's going to be up to you guys by way of you know, your comments to determine what uh, costume the kids are wearing. Um, you know, one thing that's going to happen just because of the simplicity of my sketch this week is it may appear 
that they are all boys, but that is not um, the case, you know. Uh, we could have them all be girls, we could have uh, two girls, one boy, whatever you want to do. Just consider these placeholders. Uh, I don't intend to significantly change the pose, having <laughs> put work into, you know, uh, drawing the poses this week, I think it would be a shame to uh, alter the poses too much, but consider the uh, costumes uh, to be up for grabs. I thought this guy, let's uh, make the pose a little more of like uh, high stepping march. Let's make this first, the front leg going way up in the air just to get some variety in here. Marching up to the front step to get that candy. Uh, this arm is uh, closest to us here, so uh, this time the candy, the bag of candy is going to go on the opposite side. I'm beginning to regret the <laughs> real time promise. Why did I say I was going to do this all in real time? Uh, because then I end up just sort of bumbling around. But we've got at least two. In fact, I'm probably going to number these for ease of reference. This is character one. This is character two. I will be erasing the numbers next time. Don't worry about that. Um, but feel free to make any kinds of suggestions, not just about the costumes, uh, the characters, the the candy bag uh, things that they're carrying, but you could also make suggestions about the uh, drawing materials. Would you like to see me do this with uh, watercolors, with markers? Would you like me to keep it black and white? Um, one thing I'm not going to do, uh, although a lot of people will be disappointed to hear this, I'm sure, uh, I do not intend to color this digitally, so sorry about that. I know a lot of you love uh, digital artwork. Maybe in the future I can uh, do that. But I sort of like, you know, part of the tradition of my videos is that you, that you see my hand uh, in view. Uh, you get the sense of uh, this sort of human touch. And, uh, you know, the digital stuff always involves kind of a cursor moving mysteriously across the page. You kind of lose that human touch of an actual hand being uh, in view, but maybe sometime I can try to do, you know, digital, drawing digitally is uh, something that's still hard for me to do. That is to say, making the line work digitally. Um, I haven't got one of those Cintiqs where, you know, the stylus is actually making markings upon the, the glass surface or whatever. Uh, I've got this style that is, uh, well, maybe I can even pull it over here. I've got this style where it's, uh, you know, your uh, stylus is drawing on on the surface of the uh, Wacom, Wacom? <laughs> uh, tablet, but it's not, you know, the cursor is still just moving across the screen. There's a kind of a disconnect there uh, with this technology in terms of uh, moving my hand. And uh, the drawing being done, and that's why I tend to just do, still do the line art by hand. <clears throat> then I scan it in, and then the coloring and so forth I'm doing digitally. Anyway, I've kind of gone way off on a tangent, but that, that is by way of explaining why uh, uh, digital is not going to be an option for this video in terms of, you know, if you want to suggest techniques for me to use. Now you can see I've moved on to uh, sketching a background in here, some... Uh, Halloween trees with all the leaves having fallen off. Uh, we're going to have a couple of houses, maybe get the uh, windows lit up so you have that nighttime feeling. Although it might be just very late in the evening. I don't know if we'll decide to have it completely dark outside. Might make it make the whole illustration a little too dark. Maybe it's just after sunset. Dusk. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're getting closer to the point where I'm going to be able to sign off here and uh, leave it to you guys to weigh in with your various suggestions. I hope that this is showing up. It's um, I should probably darken in like these lines of the steps here. And uh, it could be fun to um, have the light source be coming from the, the house, you know, like the door is open and we get a very bold light source coming from the right hand side and then you'll have the drop shadows coming off of the kids uh, over here on the left so that we have a very bold uh, lighting 
uh, approach on this illustration. Certainly a possibility. But again, here, let's put in number three so that when you guys make your suggestions, you can refer to one should be whatever, a mummy. Two should be Frankenstein. Uh, and um, of course, there's going to be uh, hundreds, if not more than a thousand <laughs> or so comments. I'm not going to be able to use everybody's suggestion. That would be plainly impossible. But what I want to do, kind of like when I do my question and answers videos, is to pull out a sheet of paper giving full credit to the person who made the suggestion and then uh, immediately go into working it into the illustration. So, that you will, you know, I won't just be thanking you uh, randomly for uh, your specific detailed requests, I will actually, uh, you will be thanked by name, you know, and, and maybe I'll be able to put in uh, on the paper the actual uh, suggestion that was made so that you can see what I'm uh, referring to. I'm almost done with this, guys. I'm going to put in some dividing lines here to help you see that this is meant to be um, a sidewalk. Let's, uh, maybe I'll make this a little more grassy looking so that we understand this is supposed to be the front lawn of this person. The mystery person over to the right. And I think maybe the last thing I need to do is to um, get dividing lines here across the walkway that leads up to the front door. Put those a little bit in perspective. And I think that is going to lead us up to the end of this video. Now, I'm really looking forward to seeing your comments. Thanks so much in advance to those of you who leave suggestions as to the details about the costuming and other things. I mean, you can come up with anything. You'd say, oh, Mark, you should put a pumpkin down here in the lower right-hand corner or whatever. You know, feel free to uh, make any suggestions you like, and I'm looking forward to kind of collaborating with you all virtually by way of your suggestions next week, next Friday, will be when you see me finish this illustration based on your ideas. But I think it is time for me now to say thank you to anyone who has supported me by getting any of my books, like The Realism Challenge, my book on hyper-realistic illustrations, also The Drawing Lesson, uh, my graphic novel that teaches you how to draw, and my newest How to Draw Book, Mastering Manga 3, finally out as an ebook edition. So if you've been holding off waiting for the Kindle or the iTunes, go ahead and uh, check it out. They should have it there. In fact, I know they have it there because I've seen... Uh, finally, they have that available for purchase, but it is high time I laid on this pencil. I want to thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back with another one real soon.